In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my mind in a live weekend league gameplay at Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. We release new videos every day that can help you get better on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball. As you can see in this video, I've selected to kick. That's the number one tip that I have for anybody that's ever wanting to get better at Madden. The first thing that I need to tell you is that make sure that in your settings, whether it be in regs or in mutt or in salary cap or whatever mode you're playing, that your first choice, if you win the coin toss, you always want to kick the ball. It's super important. It's, a, it's one of the most underrated little things that could really result in more wins for you in Madden 21. Now in this video, uh, I am gonna be running my nickel 335 wide defensive guide on defense. If you wanna get the exact defense that I am using in this video, you can get it on sale for just $15. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description uh, down below. But this defense is absolutely insane. Now if you take a look at that clock on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you're gonna notice um, that as we kind of tick down here, I'm gonna hit the pause button and then I'm gonna hit circle. And uh, what you're gonna see is, there we go, we got a little bit more time uh, as a result of that decision. Now here I'm just kind of, again, just kind of setting up my uh, adjustments, kind of getting all my, all my guys where I need them to be. And it looks like my opponent is going to use, and I'm gonna have to call a timeout. I'm gonna burn a timeout because I, I got a little flustered there. Uh, my opponent looks like he's gonna be using Trey Y Flex. Uh, and I'm going to, like I said, be using the 335 uh, and the 335 wide. So should be a fun matchup. Trey Y Flex is a really good little underrated formation. So anyway, right here, um, kind of getting going here, getting my adjustments set. A um, little inside zone. I kind of anticipated that would be the first play call. Uh, the inside zone out of Trey Y Flex is actually pretty good. Uh, a lot of people, I myself liked it uh, a lot, actually. So... On offense in this video, you're going to see I'm maybe running the trips tight end offense. If you want to get that offense in the description, um, you can get that down below for just uh, $10, and it'll break down the entire thing uh, for you. Okay, so here he's going to go to I form wing. You got to expect stretch, and he sure enough does run stretch. And by golly, he runs stretch for the tune of 30 yards. One of the things, um, whenever you face like I form wing or things like that, um, that I think is super important. It's like he's going to come back out in it. Uh, you want to turn auto flip off. This is something I didn't do on that and it ended up costing me. So I'm going to turn auto flip off here. Um, and you're going to see, you know, I'm just going to kind of like naturally flip with the formation um, as opposed to trying to do that. Now, if he runs that stretch again, you see that's the difference. It's one little adjustment, but it makes a massive difference. So uh, now we're in a second 14 situation. Now you can, if you want to just live with auto flip off, you can. It's not... I mean, auto flip is sometimes helpful and sometimes hurtful, um, depending on the defense. But anyway, here he's going to go to Trey left leg. So just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and come out and auto flip on. And whenever I face uh, trips type of sets, I really, really like this quarter's uh, style of defense right here. A uh, little slip screen. And that's unfortunate. That's that's unfortunate. That's I don't know. We passed committed, we had match defense, and somehow we still got shamed. So it is what it is. Um, so this guy looks like he's got a couple of little routes, a couple of little things that he's going to do uh, to try to move the ball on offense. So I've got to be ready for that. Um, here he's coming out in I form slot close. I really like this defense against I form slot close. We'll see how we do. Um, he's going to turn this into a doubles, which is uh, something I really like. Let's we'll see if he passes here or if he runs. Look like he, audible, he probably audible back to a run right here. He's going to have to burn a timeout, which is huge. Um, it's not huge in the first quarter, but I mean, it is a big deal. All right, so he's going to two by two out of eye close. A little stretch run. Actually, a good call by him. And I got caught up a little bit with my user. So he ended up getting a couple yards. He's probably running the Raiders playbook, if I had to guess, just based off some of the calls he's been making, some of the style that he's using. Um, he's probably using the Raiders playbook, so just kind of a, something to look out for. So I'm trying to get in a good, a good spot to shoot here. If he passes, though, we're going to use a rush. A little stretch left. Just make a tackle. Good job. That's going to bring up a third down. 
Third down and two situation. Um, I'm probably just gonna, I'm honestly going to stay with the same defense. The difference is we're going to be a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to go hard flats. And there we go. Good stop. Okay, so in my opinion, if he goes for this, uh, we're going to stay with that same defense. He's probably going to take his three. It's probably a smart decision uh, to go ahead and take his three. But in my opinion, we played decent defense up and down that drive. We gave him one run. Um, it was what I had talked about with that. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and go for this with the Trey White flex. So we're in a good position here. Uh, I feel like we can stop this. Uh, we're really trying to just – let's see. We'll see what he does. We're past committing. Hopefully he doesn't go to that screen. Uh, we'll see if he goes inside zone. I need to shift a little bit more to the right here. And let's see if he's going to take us down. And he is going to take it down and take his field goal. Uh, I'm going to decline it just to kind of make him think about it a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, it does look like he's going to go ahead and take his three. All in all, that's a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent drive by him. But it's a decent stop by me. And so now if we can get the ball back and we can go down and get a touchdown – it's a big, big game changer. So real quick, another tip. This is just something little that I've learned over the years. I do not pick my special teams play on the right side, especially when I'm returning, until I see that he's kicking it off. So just like that right there. Just something little, but I think it makes a big difference. Um, you don't want to be wasting timeouts because of onside kicks and things like that. So anyway, uh, we're going to get the ball back on offense here. And it's really, really, you know, again, it's it's – we need to put together a drive. We need to go down. If we get three, it's not a bad. I mean, it's not as bad. Uh, we would love to get. Uh, we would we would love to get uh, seven on this drive, but uh, we'll see what happens. So anyway, just gonna set up the trips, uh, kind of how I liked it. Uh, let me see if I can get the play wherever the play is. I'm kind of missing it for some reason. And of course, I can't find. We're just gonna try to get this inside zone off. We 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 couldn't find one of the plays um, that we wanted that we wanted to put in that position. So anyway, we're just trying to get the inside zone off here, a little double team, and we're not gonna be able to get it off. That's a terrible way to start a drive. All right, so we set him up for success. <laughs> um, okay, so first and ten or first and fifteen, I guess. And we're going to just kind of stick with uh, X spot probably uh, and see how he handles X spot. I really like X spot. It's a really simple little play. Uh, again, I'm running trips tight in. If you want to get the entire offense on a running, you can get it in the description. Uh, X spot, you don't have to use X spot to run the same concept, um, but I do like X spot a lot. I've been testing some new setups out of there. Um, you see right here, drops back early. Monta Sweat like got out there. And we're going to go ahead and no huddle that. We're going to go right back to it and just see how he defends this. <coughs> Again, just kind of sticking with that little spread. There's Brandon Ayuk doing exactly what we need him to do. We got the first down. Good job. And trips tight end. I've said this before and I'll say this again. When you are running trips tight end, you have, it is so important that you um, just take your time. Be patient. Think. Use your baby dots. Use your use your little quick reads, your little underneath stuff. That is super, super important when you run this offense. If you don't do that well, um, this is not, you can't, this is not gun bunch. This, <laughs> this is not gun bunch. You can't just come out, flip a play, and just go and go and go. It's not a fast, I mean, it's a good offense. Probably one of the, if not the best offense in the game. But it's not a fast-paced offense. It's a slow, methodical uh, thing. And it can be explosive. But you want to first master this, you know, slow, smooth, little, little simple things. Um, that's that's kind of been the biggest thing that's helped me get better with this offense. Um, I was struggling running this a little bit just because I wasn't doing that well. It wasn't because routes weren't getting open. It wasn't because things weren't going well. It's because I was missing stuff because I was trying to force, you know, this. I was trying to force things. So anyway, I just find that to be a really important point. Anyway, right here, um, just kind of based off of his strategy and kind of some of the things he's doing here, we're going to go with a little, um, and that's kind of unfortunate. So uh, we got third and inches. I talk about, I've talked about this a little bit before. Uh, in this situation, you're almost always going to see that I am going to 
try to go down a goal line here. Um, honestly, we're just going to go straight to goal line. We'll probably be okay. We're, 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 the mutt play clock is so, like, it, it, it's not very much. You don't have a, a, a massive play clock. So it can cause some of these issues here. Uh, we're going to trust this dive. We're probably going to be blown up. Yeah, we did. That's frustrating. That's that's on us too. It's it's that's all my fault. Um, that's a bad play call by me. I knew that I was gonna get blown up, and I called it anyway. Not a great way to live. And so I'm gonna go back to that PA shot post. Um, but the difference is on this this play, you're gonna see that I'm gonna use a motion crosser. I'm gonna snap this crosser right uh, at the number right there. Thread the needle. George Kittle makes the catch of his career. And we're doing okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. X spot. Look at how fast this uh, play clock goes, though. That's why it's so important to just... You, you need to come out knowing kind of what you're going to do. If you don't... And they're probably thankful that that happened. And let's check our stamina. This is why you don't want to go no huddle and trips tied in. I find that trips tied in is notoriously bad uh, for stamina. All right, right here, um, just because of the situation, we're going to go to um, a little bit more of a simple setup right here. Use some hitches, use a little corner. trying to get down. I don't know why we're not allowed to slide in this game sometimes. Uh, okay, so third and seven. He's actually playing some DC. He's, he's adjusting. One of the things that's hard uh, to remember is if they're linebackers, they're not going to defend as well as if they're not. So um, he's kind of living and dying by that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to X. We're just going to go back to X spot for this situation. Try to work this left side combination here. Little playmaker. All right, so this is kind of decision time. We're gonna at least look at it. Um, you have to remember, you get we get we get ball at halftime, so you kind of have to remember that and go into this situation right here. It's it's it is kind of a, a big deal that you get ball at halftime right here, so. So this is something that you just have to kind of think about. Um, we're going to go back to that PA boot over setup. There we go. Good catch by Kittle again. And he's kind of sitting in this cover four. We're going to we're going to get on to that. Uh, we'll probably work some bombs against that on the next drive coming out of halftime here. Now we're okay with taking three at this point. Um, we're not, you know, we're not saying that you don't want to take three. But what we are saying is we don't want to give him the ball back and let him go down and score. You know what I mean? That's kind of like not what we wanted. So here, get out of the pocket, try to get a block, get out of bounds, stop the clock. That's pretty decent. And more than likely on this next play, we're gonna go with more of a traditional flood. Um, I actually like this from. Really any play, you can do this from any play. We're gonna do it out of curl flat because I wanna use um, a tight end. So you see here, I mean, this is a really, really significant flood to the left. And that's what we wanted all along right there. Just a little check down, keep the clock moving. And on this next drive, this next play right here, we're going curl flat. Um, okay, let's see if he calls a timeout. All right, he's not going to call a timeout. We're going to call a timeout with 10 seconds. So it's going to give us like one shot. You know, we can look at something. Um, if it's there, if it's not there, then, you know, obviously we're not going to try to throw it, not going to try to force anything. Uh, but the play that I want to try to go to in this situation is X spot. Um, 
but we're gonna actually fade the circle receiver and we're gonna use a ghost route from the running back here. Trying to hit that back corner. And that was one of those things where it's like either our receiver gets it or nobody gets it. And that's okay, that's it, that's fine. We're not in an all is lost kind of situation. You know, we're able to tie the ball game up. Uh, more than likely, we're gonna go into half tied three to three. Uh, but we also get the ball coming out of halftime we feel fairly confident if he's going to sit in this cover four all game, we do have some answers to cover four. The biggest thing was we got in a position on that last drive where we just simply didn't have the space. Uh, we kind of ran out of room a little bit, and the cover four ended up playing pretty well for him. Uh, so here we're going to try, and this is a, a potential opportunity. Let's see if we get down there. Um, safety potential almost, and that was almost a really dangerous position. So right now I'm setting my controller on my table. I'm waiting to watch what he does because this is the perfect time for him to come out and try to do some kind of onside kick. We're not touching anything until we see the bottom left there. It says kickoff. That's when we know we can hit return middle. Again, I can't stress it's a little thing, but it makes a huge difference. You don't want to get, whenever you're playing um, serious or you're trying to win a game, you don't want to give your opponent um, opportunities like that for fluke. You really just want to keep it, you know, kind of about the game. So that's why we'll, and, and I'll almost always take the ball out. Um, almost always. And the biggest reason is that is because I want to get on a hash mark. I want to be able to, you know, put my trips to the wide side of the field, have the proper spacing and be able to run the offense the way it's supposed to be ran. Now he hasn't done a great job against this PA shot post. This has kind of been there for us here. So we're going to see. Just gonna take our drag here easy read and um, like I said we have this idea for a bomb that we can use but we need to establish some tendencies here uh, we're gonna go back to that PA uh, post but we're gonna do a little bit differently we're gonna use this little motion over a little drag here just kind of keep it again just simple you know but the beauty of the trips tight end is if you are patient everything is open if you if you are patient with your reads you will have a lot open uh, in your time now here uh, we might anticipate uh, a little bit of pressure here so we're just gonna block a running back just kind of keep it um, consistent here just trying to kind of protect and he does run cover two that's where I thought he was gonna run there able to hit him over the top with Randy Moss on that corner I thought I noticed that there was potential of some cover two he does end up going to that and we're able to hit that over the top with a nice little dot and uh, now we're going to keep trickling the ball down the field. And now we're kind of getting to that point. Um, we're kind of getting to that, that spot where we might want to take a shot. Um, almost running out of range here. We might just keep this right there. Man, Montez sweat is something else. So right here, if you ever take a sack, you always want to just kind of check your stamina. Um, you see that I'm just kind of like cycling through my plays here just to give myself some additional stamina. I think it's very underrated. Um, again, he's been having a lot of problems with this PA shot post play with the delay fade and the drag. So we're going to kind of stick with that here. And there you see, he's just not really running hard flats. Like he's kind of refusing to do that. He's kind of using this little in-between zone from this cover four drop. So we're just going to keep it really simple. If he's not going to hard flat, uh, we're going to just take what the defense gives us here. All right. Um, right here, we actually messed up. We shouldn't have called our trips to this side. We're on the wrong side of the field, but that's okay. We'll just keep it this little set right here. Release the delay fade. Nice little read. And so now it looks like we're going to kind of have to keep that that route, that, that cover four beater, that cover four bomb in our back pocket uh, for different situations. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to X spot again. And we're just gonna kind of work the X spot route combo. Kind of see. And that's a good decent pocket right there. Able to get a nice little playmaker dot. And again, this, this offense is, I can't tell you and I cannot stress it enough how important it is 
that you be patient. We have taken the majority of the second quarter and the majority of the third quarter away from him, and we're hopefully going to be at least able to go up by three points, if not by seven. Played pretty solid offensively, um, just kind of taking what the defense has given us. And right here, again, I, uh, I can go down to this I-form close. I can run this read option. These are all things I can do right here. Uh, not a great decision by me. And I actually snapped it a little bit too soon, too. So I'm going to have to come back out. Um, and this is where, you know, you can have some different routes, different things that you want to go try. But at the end of the day, you want to be in trips tied in with this. And we're going to go ahead and play drive post. It's one of my favorite red zone plays. We're going to have to snap with one second left on the clock. And I'm actually going to go to this double sail. But I'm going to use a slant. We'll see how this works. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Please catch him, please catch him. There we go. Okay. That's about as worst case scenario as you can possibly get. Um, I didn't put the running back on a wheel. Mm, that's painful. I don't know how he flipped that up. That linebacker should not have been able to do that, but it is what it is. Bad read by me. And now he is in a great position. So, uh, you know, kind of momentum flipped. Right there, I need to just run the ball. I need to go up by one possession. My defense has played solid. Now I put myself in a really big disadvantage. Uh, this is this is not a good position to be in. So we're going to see what he does. He hasn't really passed out of this under center set. It's been mainly runs. There we go. Good run. Good run, D. And that's that nickel 335 Why We talk about best run defense in the nation, in my opinion. But, uh, I mean, it's... It's, it's got the ability to stop pretty much everything that they're going to do from a running perspective. Right here, we need our defense to stand up, though. We, we put ourselves in a massive disadvantage right here. Throws a little fake bubble screen, throws it right into DK Metcalf, who is 6'3", somehow massively just mosses me. Um, a little bit frustrated by that in light of the last couple of plays, but um, all in all, you know, we're okay. Really likes this little RPO, maybe a little inside zone here. We'll see. Yeah, 100% inside zone. We're able to shoot that. Now, let's see. If he takes a field goal, let's see kind of what he does. Um, if he's got a good kicker, he can make this. Looks like he is going to go ahead. It's a good decision by him um, to get up by one possession. And that's going to at least give us a position, uh, an opportunity to be able to stand up for ourselves. Uh, we made a massive mistake. You can't make mistakes like that when you're playing these shorter games and stuff like this. As he's going to kick it, I think, yep, he went ahead and made it right down the middle. So this is where, if there was a time for our cover four bomb, it's going to be coming out here on this drive. So you're going to see that I'm going to probably, um, you know, maybe run one play or so and then look to, look to potentially bomb it, maybe right after the two-minute warning. We'll just kind of have to see, you know, what he's coming out in defensively. But we definitely are, we're going to even throw that in the audibles here uh, just because find there it is inside cross because we just i mean this is i feel like we've been fine honestly like we just made one bad read um i feel like we got a little unfortunate but anyway i think he is going to cover four here let's see how high this can climb Little dot right there to Randy Moss, but he's not gonna get his feet down. That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, that's absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. All right. Um, I feel like we need to go to the cover four ball. I'll see if Randy Moss can get open for us. Because he's like max covering. Nice little dot from Griffin. And we're gonna take this down to the two minute warning. Now when people are running, like see like this, the, the one problem I have with Robert Griffin the third is when people are running defenses like what this guy's running, you should be able to hit flood concepts like corner routes and things like that. But I'll tell you what, I just don't feel too confident in Robert Griffin. 
but we are going to go to X spot right here. We're going to go with a little bit of a traditional uh, corner to Bruce on this play. Just kind of take our simple flat. And we've got plenty of time here. Again, you know, worst case scenario, we want to be at least able uh, to take three if we can. And we're going to go to this concept here, PA shot post. Try to kind of pull the user there. Good read. And we're going to take a timeout right there, kind of gather ourselves a little bit kind of breathe a little bit and whenever you run trips tight in it's almost like therapeutic you really do want to like take a breath if you try to like just run and gun and force stuff you're going to be so mad at this offense i'm telling you right now but anyway all right we're going to go to pa slot corner here um specifically just a simple little flood concept blocking the running back here just trying to get some extra protection um, seeing kind of what he's doing and Brandon Ayuk almost cost us a bunch. Or uh, not Brandon Ayuk. That's all on Robert Griffin. And that's what I'm talking about. Robert Griffin just can't make throws. Like, if that's Brett Favre, that's a dot. You know, if that's Rodgers, that's a dot. But uh, Griffin just Griffin just can't make those kind of throws. All right. Right here, we're going to go to... Actually, we're going to do this. Do a little ghost route here. Got him over the top. And there's that cover four bomb. And Randy Moss dropped it. Can't play much better. Can't play much better offensively when they can't catch the ball. Okay. Um, we're actually going to just go to the same thing. I just feel like it's the right call. over a linebacker, Reggie Bush being huge for us. Whew, oh boy, this is a sweaty. Uh, I don't know why this guy's cover four is like I'm not glitching over the top. Couldn't go to one of my favorite combinations here. Brandon and I just got to catch that ball. That is an absolute laser too. We're going to go back to it. I mean, I think he's going to sit and cover four. Actually, we're going to go we're going to go to that uh, PA shot post play. Oh gosh, dang it, good defense. Good timeout call by him right there too. So cover four drop, you've got to go to doubles and sale. I feel like doubles and sale is the best call. But the problem is the corner route is like too deep. I feel like X spot, man. I really need um, this, uh, this flood concept to actually work here. Actually, you know what? Let's go inside cross one. Ah, we can't, we can't, we can't. We can't, we gotta go X spot. All right, here we go, third and 17. Oh my gosh. Linebackers aren't supposed to do that. Oh, I should have not low, I should not have low balled that route. Dang it. Oh man, that's a bad read. I saw me too. That whole game is on me. I mean, I blew it. I played a great game on defense, I feel like. And offense just I the thing is there was routes that were open. I just totally missed them. Or threw them bad. That sack was huge. I should have hit the delay fade. I mean, there's so many coulda, woulda, shouldas, and at the end of the day, we walk away with probably a, a six to three defeat in our first loss. Mm, very unfortunate. Felt like we were the better player, just didn't come up, didn't come up where we needed it to be. A lot you can learn on that. We did some stuff that was decent, um, did some stuff that was not good at all. Uh, 
some really bad uh, just game management man little things like that can just really change the outcome he got a, a stretch that got him down for a field goal and then he got that other um, or that that big big fumble so good game to my man and uh, we got to keep grinding thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it unfortunately we couldn't pull out the W if you want to get the exact offenses and defenses that I use in that video you can get them in the description below